Hi everyone, before you guys ask, yes, I am wearing pajamas and I want to make it a goal to be a YouTuber that always wears pajamas in her videos because they are so comfortable and honestly no shame. <laughs> but today I'm going to be talking about surviving a party with hearing loss. Um, this is a question that I get a lot, a lot, a lot from people. Um, Especially teens, you know, that I meet across the country, I am always asked like, oh, how, do you have any tips on surviving like parties and lot of situations because they are literally impossible for me? And I think this is a great question because especially, you know, um, the college age, high school age, you know, there's a lot of parties and going to them and they're not like the loud obnoxious like legal parties i'm not talking about that at all but i'm talking about situations where it's really loud there's a lot of people and they are all socializing i got you i have some tips so the first thing i want to say is congratulations for even going and putting yourself in these situations in the first place because these are things that a lot of people don't have to think about um going to a party something fun something that they look forward to but i know it's something that a lot of us tend to dread because you don't know how you're going to react in different situations you don't want to be the person always asking someone to repeat themselves you feel like you're there but you're not really understanding anything because you can't hear anything you can't understand anything so Kudos to you for putting yourself in that situation in the first place. I know, like the way I just described it, nobody wants to go to a party. But, but the first thing you need to do is understand that you are not going to be able to understand everything. There is no way that you are going to be able to pick up on every single thing that people are saying. You know, even a normal person going to a party doesn't understand everything everyone's saying. Like, that just... The fact like there's usually music, there's lots of people, multiple conversations going on at once. You cannot expect a normal person to understand and know everything that's going on, let alone someone that actually has a disability and is limited in knowing these things. So just accept that you will not know everything that's going on, you will not hear everything, and that's okay because most of the conversations at these parties are useless and nobody really remembers that. When you're talking to someone, make sure that you look them directly in the eye, you can lip read them, make sure that you are paying attention to only one person at a time instead of just going to whoever's talking. Like, make sure that you are having a conversation with one person at a time because that will make sure that you are getting as much as you can like getting as much information as you can from a person another thing is to go to a quieter place with a couple of people that you're talking to maybe you can't hear them as well but you really want to continue this conversation and you should just ask them hey can we move to a quieter place that room over there doesn't have a lot of people in it or let's go outside let's have take this conversation elsewhere because if it's a very important conversation or something interesting then they will most likely say okay and go outside with you but if it's stupid small talk like hey how you doing how was your weekend then there's really no need to you know what i mean like you come to a point where you have been to enough of these loud situation parties if you will where you know that the conversation that happens is really mundane and not special at all real quick I just want to say that if you can remove yourself from this situation entirely and just have small get-togethers with your friends or any of that stuff, that is honestly the best. Like, I know you want to go to that big Halloween party <laughs> that is happening or you want to go to that big party that people are having, but... It can be loud, there's probably gonna be music, multiple people, they probably aren't gonna be making the best decisions. So that's another video on itself of why you shouldn't go to those things. It's just a bad, bad idea. So if you can have a small gathering of people that you actually like, um, you can understand them better because it'll just be my dog is barking. It'll just be a couple of people that you like socializing with and you can really have meaningful conversations and actually have fun. If you find yourself at a party, I would recommend lowering your hearing aid. Um, 
volume a little bit i have the open hearing aid so it's very easy for me to do that it's a lot easier for me to navigate a lot of situations now that i have the open hearing aid but if you have regular hearing aid just lower the volume because that will make it so much easier for you to hear the people just around you there's no way you can try to hear everything that's happening in the entire room so just limiting your capabilities make sure that you know more that's going on within your immediate circle of where you are so restaurant mode is a good thing to put your hearing aids on just lowering your volume in general trust me try it it will help a ton this tip is kind of weird but if you have an fm system anything like that you can bring it with you and give it to your friends to talk into like i know that's kind of weird in a party situation but hey i've never done it but i feel like if i had the gut to do that it would actually help a lot i would just give the microphone to my friend when they would talk they would talk into it it would go directly to my hearing aid that's great but i do know that's not very very realistic in party situations also don't be afraid to ask people to repeat themselves like they're not gonna hate you um just ask people to repeat themselves <laughs> people do that all the time even if they don't have hearing aids so just asking someone to repeat themselves will really let you understand what's going on more because you get to hear it again also if you don't really hear everything that people are saying try to get the overall like the gist of the conversation from like contact and little things that people say like you don't have to know every single word that comes out of a person's mouth to know what the situation and the conversation is about i know that some of these tips may not be that helpful in the end there's really nothing you can do to make yourself like fully capable of knowing and understanding everything that people say because of the end of party situation people are talking like this um people say their words they don't speak up a lot of times people don't even know what they're saying in this situation so just being okay with the fact that you will not get to know every single thing that comes out of a person's mouth knowing that it's basically just nonsense stuff that comes out of people's mouths like um regular small talk situations and moving to quieter spots of the party to actually have meaningful conversations with people are basically my top tips on how to survive a party. Also, have a friend with you that um, knows about your situation. Talk to them about it. Tell them um, your concern and have them watch out for you. Have them tell you everything that is going on. My best friend that's what he's for like he literally tells me everything um and then that way it's more comfortable you know you don't really have to listen so carefully to what everyone's saying because you can just ask your friend after hey so what were the conversations about what happened you know so there's multiple different ways to like basically get the gist of what's happening i feel like one of the biggest concerns that people with hearing aids have when going to a party is that they're not going to be able to actually function in that environment because they don't know what, what to say they're just going to be standing there in the corner like eh. it's like staring at everyone that's not the case have a friend and go to a party that you want to go to also takes experience like it takes a lot of different loud situations to actually get to the point where you're comfortable you're not going to feel 100% comfortable in a situation until you've experienced it a couple times and you know what works for you and you know what doesn't work for you. For me, I know that if I turn my volume down, it really helps. And if I have a friend, it's a lot more comfortable for me to go and put myself in these situations in the first place. And you can experiment. You can go to loud conventions with your parents. You can go to a lot of situations where there's a lot of people and a lot of noise and try to have conversations and just see what happens if you have any specific questions please leave them down below because i would love to answer them i hope this helps you in any way shape or form and if you want me to do any more videos on this topic give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll talk to you later bye